The last cards for Power of the Elements is here, and guess what? I evidently wasn't wrong. The art is actually a card that they just decided to hold back. I'm like 30% of you guys have not smashed the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 105,000. We have rough translations up here from Respect YGO here, because for some reason the org has not translated any of this. It's been like four hours. So, the first one here is the actually fantastic trap card. I, I actually am... This art on this for this mat is so awesome. Like, they did such a fantastic job with it. Like, the org... You better translate this quickly. But anyway, so you can only activate one copy of this card's name once per turn. So you can target one card your opponent controls and one card in their graveyard. Send the card they control to the graveyard and set the other card from their graveyard to your opponent's field. Very interesting that they took a card that kind of feels very subpar and made it into a tr uh, an, a mat. But I don't know. That, that's a very interesting thing. I, I don't think that card's very good. Uh, Propa Gandake. So once per turn, declare one type amongst monsters you currently control, which would be what? Beast, insect, plant, or rock. This card becomes that type. What? As long as this card is in a monster zone, is under the effect of effect one. So if you change it into a beast, insect, plant, or rock, apply the following effects. Face up monsters on the field become the same type as that card. Monsters on the field the same type as that card cannot be targeted by the effects of opponent's cards. They control... Oh my god, actually. So this is a... Uh, hold on. As long as you apply one of the following effects. Face up monsters on the field become the same type. Yo, this works with insect barrier. Yo, this is actually kind of stupid. So if you have bugs on the field, you can make this guy into a bug, which will generically turn oh yeah it's once per turn it's during either player's turn because if this is during either player's turn um this would be really good huh yeah if this is a quick effect once per turn to change its type that's hilarious this thing is nuts this right here this is the sacred stone of water katorin so you can discard this card from your hand this turn in addition to your normal summon you can normal summon one additional earth wa or water monster during your main phase which is, we got an extender, which is really good. If this card is in your graveyard and you control a water and earth monster, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. I mean, it's a free extender, but I mean, the main thing you care about here is the discard gain the additional normal summon, to be honest with you. Then we got this exceed rank three here, Asura King. So it's three plus level three monsters. What? During each battle phase, this card can make a number of attacks up to the number of materials it has. So it's getting three attacks. Okay, and that doesn't have to be on monsters, it's just number of attacks. At the start of the damage step, when this card battles, it gains 200 attack. Oh boy. When the effect of another monster is activating, detach one material from this card to negate the activation if you do destroy it. Um, That's three level threes for massive negation. Uh, but you don't get the select, actually. It's just when another effect monster effect is activated. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Ah, huh. I actually really like that card, too. Night Belt, the Master of Wicked Awakening. This thing is level 4 Psychic. Okay. So you can only use the effect of Night Melt, the Wicked Awakening, once per turn. So you contribute one monster... You can control special summon one monster from your deck with the same original type, attribute, level, and defense, but with a different original name. Oh god, that's a lot of restrictions. <laughs> uh, but it... Wait, this doesn't negate? What? With a different original name from the attributed monsters. This does not negate the effect of the card it summons. If you can find something with this, this is really good. If attributed monster with special summon from the extra deck, you can also special summon a monster from the extra deck with this effect. This card is pretty interesting. Alright. Huh. Uh, you get a chance to see the super rare Fallen of Albaz here, which is really nice. And then we've got Eka, the Flame Buddy. What is this card? <laughs> uh, this card is a little more special summon. You can target one face of monster in either player's spell and trap card zone and special summon it to your field. So this works with uh, Valiance. Okay. You can target one face of monster. You control, equip it to this card as an equip spell card and give it roughly 500 attack. Or, yeah, give 500 attack. Sure. What was this? A heavy Dust Trunade. What is going on here? These poor cows. Now they got two of these things. You only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Any number of set cards in your spell and trap cards. Oh, no! 
Return those cards to your hand and this card to the hand. Then you can set spell and trap cards from your hand onto the field equal to the number of cards returned. This is such a meme. Oh, boy. Um, Starlight's here. For three boxes, this is pretty interesting. All right. You get a picture of the reverse Nibby um, Asa. It looks really good as an Ultra. Uh, the Flame Wingman in here is really nice. And then this was the last card in the set here. So this was infinite jamming. During damage calculation, if a monster battles and there's a monster with 1,000 or more attack on the field, all monsters on the field lose 100 or 1,000 attack for every 1,000 attack they have and 1,000 defense for every 1,000 defense they have. When this card is destroyed, all monsters on the th field lose 1,000 attack for every 1,000 attack they have and 1,000 defense for every 1,000 defense they have until the end of this turn. It's literally an Xbox. <laughs> what an interesting... Uh, what an interesting wrap up on this set, but there's some pretty good stuff in here. So, what do you guys think? Please, if you've come down below, tell me, guys, make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. So, you guys, don't miss out more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Uh! <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.